My name is Justin Bourne. I'm with Listen Up Audio Video. I'm a uh, account manager down here in the Colorado Springs area. This house in Monument, Colorado, we are doing a full system from Listen Up. That includes lighting control, it includes networking, it includes uh, audio video for speakers, TVs, uh, as well as we are also doing the uh, line level or electrical uh, in the home. Uh, all the uh, architectural fixtures, all the wiring for standard electrical, uh, as well as the lighting control. Uh, we've got automated shading in the uh, system, uh, so once programmed it will be a full automated uh, system, uh, not just a standard smart home where you go to an app and hit a button, but uh, you know, shades we can program to automatically move throughout the day, uh, lighting, we can uh, have come on certain times of day uh, based on the customer's wants. Uh, scenes, so from a single button click, uh, turn the entire house on, turn the entire house off. Pathway lighting, all kinds of fun stuff. It's going to be a pretty fun project once everything's said and done. Yeah, so at the front door we've got, we're basically doing a door station, uh, so video doorbell, pretty standard nowadays. Uh, things that you'll see around the house, like the green wire coming out of the soffits there. It's gonna be uh, camera locations coming in through the front door. Of what we've got in uh, the house that the customer really liked uh, was a centralized lighting system. So instead of having standard, you know, three, four, five switches here as you come in every, other standard house, uh, we're just gonna have a single keypad that we'll be able to program to do scenes. So you can have a home scene that you hit one button and it kind of turns on the whole main area. Um, all the uh, lighting in the house is gonna be fully controlled uh, via uh, automation as well as like the exterior lights. So they'll have sunset, sunrise scenes. So, you know, all your uh, exterior lights automatically turn on based on the time of day. Um, coming in through the house, uh, we've got the great main kind of great room, which is standard here in Colorado nowadays, uh, where you have your central living area with the great room, kitchen, dining room back here. Um, we not only did all the low voltage wiring, but also the line level or electrical in the uh, home. Uh, so. We kind of upgraded the, uh, the can lighting, or recessed lighting in this area to uh, use DMF's warm dim. Uh, so it's going to uh, better mimic uh, incandescent lights that everybody's used to. In the great room here, we've got a uh, basic surround system uh, where we're gonna have the TV above the fireplace and then uh, surround speakers in the ceiling anywhere that you see these uh, black circles. Uh, that those are uh, speaker brackets uh, so that the drywallers are able to uh, just cut the speaker holes for us and then we just slip the speakers in. Speakers throughout the kitchen, speakers in the dining room. Uh, we've got uh, motorized shades on these large windows as well, uh, especially being that it's kind of southwest facing. Uh, pretty important to get the uh, Shading not only for comfort, but also protection from the sun. Uh, so on the stairs uh, to light the, the pathway as we come down, where you see the uh, brown wires sticking out, uh, every other stair tread we're going to have uh, LED lighting strips uh, on the bottom of the uh, stair nose, uh, just highlighting the, uh, the stairs as you come down, safer to walk. Um, Areas where you see like green wire in the ceiling, uh, those are gonna be all the wireless access points throughout the house. It's gonna be the main theater room where we're gonna have an 85 inch TV. Um, they're gonna do some custom cut in bookshelf speakers. Uh, we're doing a seven channel uh, surround sound system. We've got the four in the uh, ceiling back here. Um, coming through here, they're gonna have a, uh, a wet bar um, and then a game room uh, for, you know, pool table, card table, everything like that. Uh, once again, uh, large windows we're gonna hit with uh, motorized shading uh, and then a uh, television as well. Then we've got uh, kind of the main brain and heart of the system. We've got all our low voltage uh, wiring 
coming down here. Uh, we're gonna basically have a uh, main rack of uh, equipment so that everything can stay proper temperature as well as easily serviceable. Obviously this needs to be cleaned up still. <laughs> um, but then we have the uh, two main Lutron lighting panels. Uh, these panels are where there are gonna be modules that go in uh, to control the lighting throughout the house. Uh, this is uh, what, going with uh, these guys, uh, when I said centralized earlier, um, this is what it means. It means that all the control uh, for the actual specific lighting loads are going to be here. Uh, and that this is what allows us to get away from all the wall acne of multiple switches and go down to just single keypads. Typically what you'll have is all the real small lower gauge uh, wiring is your security wiring. Uh, so we've got uh, all the doors covered with uh, wired door contacts. Then we have motion sensors. We have uh, glass break sensors throughout the house, heat sensors, leak detector, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, the blue and the, uh, the green uh, is primarily uh, networking cable. Cat6 cable is our standard. Uh, we run throughout the house. Your white is either going to be speaker wire or coaxial cable for standard terrestrial TV or cable, satellite, that kind of stuff. The blue, uh, this is going to be our Lutron wire for our keypads as well as the uh, shades uh, as well throughout the house. Uh, so that all comes back down. Um, we really don't have any wiring uh, local to any rooms where you'd have to have like a receiver or an amplifier or cable box or anything like that locally. Uh, all that'll be handled uh, by the wiring that we ran throughout the house. As far as uh, programming goes, uh, we'll be able to fully program the, uh, the whole house from the lighting to the audio to the video. Uh, to make sure that it is fully what the customer is expecting. Uh, and it is also modifiable throughout the years as, you know, their life changes, the kids' lives uh, as they grow up and, you know, they start wanting TVs in areas or, you know, different audio streaming services, everything like that. It's uh, gonna be fully flexible to uh, grow with them as uh, they progress.